Hello, um, we're in Northumberland. We're on our little holiday. That was a bit of a weird intro though, wasn't it, Eli? Mm -hmm. Hello, we're in Northumberland. Um, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a vlog. I'm not gonna vlog the whole holiday this time because last year I vlogged that and there's a link somewhere around where you'll be able to go and look at that. Uh, so I just thought I'd vlog the odd bit, but we are staying in sea houses in Northumberland. Um, we come up every year pretty much and this is our second time in this particular house and it's nice, it's lovely. We stay for about a week and we do all different things around um, Northumberland. Today we're just on our way to the beach. We're having a, it's a Saturday, so we're having a bit of a chill day. We travelled up yesterday, it took like four hours including a stop so that was quite good um so yeah a bit of a chill day today beach going into annick to nip into sainsbury's to get some bits for the house and yeah probably going into sea houses looking at the shops there and just having a bit of a chill out day i've got something to say what have you got to say buddy we're going to the beach we are going to the beach that's exciting isn't it um so yeah i will take you on our little holiday I always forget to do this bit, but I should do the intro thing. So if you're new here, my name is Kim. Um, I vlog about everything, lifestyle, family, small business. Um, yeah, if you're into that thing, that kind of thing, then subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button. Um, Adam's getting in the car, he's gonna laugh at me for doing the like and subscribe thing. So we've come to um, Beadmill Beach and we quite like this one because there's a car park right over there behind that sand dune. Uh, you can walk straight down to the beach, you don't have to walk to it, which is quite nice if the weather's bad. It's actually quite nice today but um, yeah, kids are just having a run, dogs are having a run. So the sea's a bit rougher than we thought and uh, I'll just insert a little clip from my phone where it, <laughs> me and Eli just got totally caught out Let's by go. the sea. Let's go! And um, Eli fell flat <laughs> and got absolutely soaked, even in his puddle suit. And it went over my wellies, they're like knee high. So we've come back to the cottage and we are, oh it's more of a house, I don't know why I call it a cottage. It's a house isn't it Eli, it's not like cottage cottage. Um, we've come back and we've all <laughs> got our dry clothes on because how soaked were you, eh? You really had wet. really wet legs and these <coughs> socks were so soaking and there was sand in them and we don't know how that happened. Um, but yeah, we're all dried off. So now we're gonna go into sea houses and get some lunch and then this afternoon we're just gonna come back and watch a film, I think. But um, yeah, uh, I shall show you where we go for lunch. I don't know where we're gonna go yet and then we'll see. I don't think we're gonna do anything else so that's probably the end of the vlog for today. Okay. Um, but I'm just gonna put this in one big no, long vlog. That? So day two will follow, follow on or day three depending on what we do. I don't think we've ever seen the sea quite so rough. This is like, really really rough sea and that's why we fell in the sea isn't it Eli? Huh? That's why we fell in the sea! <laughs> it is day two of our holiday and it's absolutely throwing it down like really throwing it down so we've decided we're going to drive the coastal scenic route so on the Northumberland coast there's um just a nice little drive where you go through several villages and stuff and you can see the sea and the beaches from the road um so we're going to do that because it's really rainy um and then as it's sunday we're gonna go to bambra this afternoon and go for a sunday roast at the victoria hotel so we did that last year as well it's a bit of a tradition um this whole holiday is like a tradition <laughs> basically it's like a comfort holiday um so that's the plan for today nothing major again but we um we did have 
loose plans to go on a boat this morning but the weather is not playing ball so I don't think we want to go and look at grey seals on the Fine Islands in this weather so we're going to save that for I think Tuesday. Well it um, might stop raining. Well it, it's going to stop raining this afternoon so we can go on the beach at Bamborough as well that would be cool and there's a nice playground so that is our plan for today so I will show you some of the scenic route. Um, it's quite a good rainy day activity I think um, and we don't drive up that way so we haven't been on it for a couple of years actually have we? I, I can't remember the last time we did that drive. Adam's just ignoring me. I don't know, I don't know which way we're going. Down the coast. Okay. So for the benefit of Adam and anyone else who wants to take this drive, this is the route that we're going to take today. We started in Sea Houses, but the actual route starts further up north near Berwick. We drove down the coast and you go through lots of cute little villages. If you did want to do this drive, um, there are a few that you can stop off in and get lunch and stuff. Craster is a really nice one. We ended our drive today in Amble, but you can go further south. I think it starts near Morpeth, so it can be quite a long drive. You get to see quite a lot of the coastline, some nice views of the sea, you can pull in at a few spots as well. And you get some nice little villages like this. This was Walkworth where there is a castle which you might want to go and have a look around. But for us this was a nice way of filling a few rainy hours on this pretty dismal day. <laughs> I'm just filming on my phone because the weather is too bad to get my camera out but this is the playground at Bamber Castle. So the castle is just there and there's this big bit of grass and if you come to the far corner there's this amazing playground. Um, I can't go because I've got the dogs out here. Adam's in there with the boys and there's like a spinny thing, some climbing equipment, a big pirate ship, um, some swings in the back, Eli's on the swings and a tractor. So yeah, it's a really good playground and if you come at this time of year, it's normally dead, or like one or two people. Um, yeah, such a grim day. But next up, we're gonna go for a roast dinner. And there's the castle. vlogging light in the world is so bright and sunny today <laughs> we've come to Almouth beach we've not actually been on this beach before we've been to Almouth but um yeah we normally go to the old schoolhouse gallery which we'll be going to next but we thought we'd come down to the beach um the parking is right there as well so it's another one that's really handy for getting the kids and the dogs straight onto the beach without having to trek and the parking was free until March so because we come in February we really look out with the uh, free parking and stuff yeah, it's a really nice beach too. Um, all the beaches up here are so broad and like just tons of sand and beach when the tide is out and the sea is a lot calmer today as well. So it's a really nice day. Um, it's meant to get really windy, but so far not too bad. Um, and yeah, the beaches, especially, I don't know if it's all year, but it's, at this time of year, they're all dog friendly, which is why we love coming with the girls. Um, and Luna absolutely loves it. Scout just tries to forage for rubbish all the time, but there you go.
Pretty sure you can't see me again because of where the sun is. <laughs> um, it is now Tuesday and we are heading on a grey seal cruise. So um, I don't and think we've. We're going on a boat! Yeah, the boat from Sea Houses. Um, I don't think we've ever been on a boat trip when we've been here, so this is something new for us. Um, you can take dogs on, but we decided to leave the dogs because Scout, I don't think, would get on a boat <laughs> and oh, it would be a whole thing. Oh, Luna, might be sick. Well, Luna might be seasick, yeah, as well. Um, seasick? Seasick, yeah. So Cat's we are. Seasick. What about Dougie. seasick? Oh, Tag's been seasick on Dougie. So we're heading there now for the 11 o'clock boat. It's a one and a half hour cruise to see some grey seals, hopefully. Um, now we're in a buff. And you're wearing a buff. It was £20 per adult and under fives were free. So that's quite good. So it was £40 total. Um, if you're in sea houses, get the tickets from the kiosk rather than getting them online because you don't have to pay any fees then. Uh, we just went down this morning when we took the dogs for a little walk and booked, booked onto the 11 o'clock one. I'm sure it's a lot busier in summer and when it's like the seabird season, but because it's only for the grey seals, it doesn't seem that bad. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can see. decided to head to Barter Books, which is just over there for our lunch and for a little bit of a book browse. Um, because we're all pretty hungry after the boat, aren't we? Who's hungry? No one. Crickets. <laughs> is this the best secondhand bookshop in the world? Barter Books is based in Annick in Northumberland and it's home to over 300,000 books. There's just every kind of book here imaginable. You've got your everyday fiction, paperbacks, you know, stuff that you'd buy on the high street. Then you've got some really rare books, children's books, unusual books, collector's books. It's an absolute treasure trove. You can, and I have, spent hours rifling through the shelves in this shop. The added bonus is they've got a really good cafe which sells hot food and coffee, so you can bring the books that you found into there and have a little flick through too. And our four-legged friends are allowed in. They love it in here because everybody pets them. It's actually based in Annex old train station, so it's quite cute that there's a little train running around the front section. And when they were doing the renovations, they found the original Keep Calm and Carry On poster. These are the books that I picked up on our latest trip. Just keep in mind that you'll be paying more than you would in a charity shop for a second-hand book, but you need to visit this bookshop. It is amazing! one of our favourite little breakfast, breakfast spots called Carnaby's. Uh, it's just off the A1 and it's um, it's nice, it's nice and big and spacious and they do, they do lots of different breakfast food and kids meals and there's like little 
play area and if the weather is nice there's also this um, bit outside with the tractors but it's um, really rainy so we're not doing that today <laughs> um, and then after here we're gonna go on to the National Trust Wallington place that we've been to before which is one of our favorites because of the playgrounds um, we would do Cragside but nothing seems to be open at Cragside when we come at this time of year so Wallington is a little bit better um, in the winter months I think because it's a really nice playground um, so yeah that's what we're doing today So we're just heading down to um, the okay. train, train playground, isn't there, Eli? Which we haven't been to before. Oh, and there's one at Billy Bob's, like Billy Bob's. Yes, there's one at Billy Bob's where we've been, um, but we've never been to this playground at Wallington before. So we're gonna give it a look. crossing is viable and um, so today it was between quarter to ten and some time in the afternoon so plenty of time for us to get on there and have a look around um, I don't know what we're gonna do we always just like to visit buy a bottle of mead I think Eli might want to scoot up towards the castle but that's about it time to go home I hope you enjoyed that vlog um, I've tried to include some hints and tips of what to do in Northumberland I know that a lot of it is repeated from last year when we came so if you want to look back on those vlogs I go into a lot more detail on places but I thought I'd just do a quick vlog with some spots that we enjoy and some more information about these areas and I hope that it inspires you to come to Northumberland especially in winter time when it's so quiet like it's half term and it's busier than when we normally come which is out of half term but it's still been relatively quiet like you don't struggle to park or anything like that you don't struggle to get in places um yeah it's it's a really nice time of year to come the weather has been up and down this week we've been quite lucky um we only had that one rainy day where we didn't really do much but the coastal drive um but yeah apart from that that's the end of the vlog uh i will be back with some more vlogs stuff soon <laughs> but for now I will say goodbye